Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog. I'm Alicia and again, I am joined by Robin of MF Supply. Robin, how are you this week? Doing great, how are you Alicia? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. So in this week's video, you are going to be answering a question for your customers. And that question is, when manually installing a Keen Cert, how do I select the whole size and the tools to use when I'm installing? So I'll go ahead and turn that question over to you. Sure, that's a great question. Every day we get calls from manufacturers asking us for tools. They're not sure what they need in order to install the key locking inserts that they've purchased. So today we're just gonna share with you exactly what you need. So prior to installing a key locking insert, you have to check with the supplier to make sure you have the proper drill and tap. Uh, each part number has its own combination of uh, drill and tap. This is really important and it's based on the outside and the inside diameter. Uh, we actually will share with you uh, our guide. We have a reference guide on exactly what to use for each uh, key locking insert that we sell. So it's also important to note that each key locking insert has different uh, types of thread depending upon if they're military or commercial. So prior to installing the inserts, you need to have the following information. Number one, you've got to have the blocker assembly in your possession. Number two, you need to have the drill and tap size for the key insert you're installing. And number three, you need the fastener you're installing. In terms of tools, you're gonna to actually need the physical drill. You're gonna need the drill bit. You'll need a, a drill or tap wrench along with the tap to tap the threads. You're going to need a countersink tool and a keen insert installation tool and finally a hammer. Those are the things that you're going to need in order to install the keen insert. All right. Thank you for outlining those. I think it's really good that we do that because that, that was quite a lot of things that you need. It and was. if you're missing just one, I'm sure that that's going to delay your process. It's really going to slow you down and nobody wants that. So that's um, right. we do have one more important question that we want to address too. And you're going to be showing us a screen share. But the question yep. is, what is a broaching tool and when will I need one? A broaching tool is an extra installation tool and it's used for very hard parent materials such as A286 and from time to time an uh, A4140 or other hardened materials. Basically the purpose of it is it, it's a special brooch and it um, creates uh, slots for the keys in the parent material. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for answering that second question as well. And if you're interested in learning more about that broaching tool, that information that Robin was showing is on mfsupply.com. So you can go to that direct link and learn more and read more. Um, if you're interested in placing your next order with MF Supply, you're going to want to get in contact with them. You're going to do so by going to mfsupply.com, exploring all of the products that they have to offer, and then getting in contact with Robin and her team, and they'll get you all set up. So thank you so much for watching. And thanks again, Robin. Thank you.